we're going to look now at uh, a sample of cartoons that appeared in uh, publications, popular publications, magazines, newspapers in America between 1880 and the 1920s, which the period which corresponds to the first and largest wave of uh, Italian immigration to this country. This cartoon appeared in the magazine The Mascot in New Orleans in 1886. Both the date and time are very important because five years later in New Orleans there occurred the worst massacre of uh, Italians uh, in America. It was a mass lynching. And in a way, this describes the climate that surrounded the event that occurred five years later. The cartoon is in five vignettes. The very first one shows a nuisance to pedestrians, people hanging out in the streets. You see barefoot, sleeping loafers doing nothing except bothering people that walk on the sidewalks, I guess. The scene doesn't change much, but now it shows the same people piled up like animals in a very tiny room. They're sleeping apartments. Look at them with no respect, no self-dignity, literally like sheep in a pen. The caption reads, Afternoons, Pleasant Diversions. And here, there are knifing people, mugging people, in the streets. One of them has a bottle of wine, has already fallen down, drunk. So you have the first sequence of three vignettes that show you the behavior of Italians in New Orleans. How do you deal with this kind of problem? Well, the only way is to round them up. And you round them up with a paddy wagon and billy clubs. By the way, the term paddy wagon doesn't mean that the wagons were padded for comfort. It is actually a term that was invented in New York and paddy is a reference to Patrick, to the Irish. So the idea was that the Irish were drunk, fallen drunk in the streets and they needed to be rounded up and thrown into those wagons at night and taken to jail. Therefore, the name Paddy Wagon. Back to the Italians. It's not sufficient to put them in jail. You need to dispose of them. The way to dispose of them, this is the final solution. This is what, even today, in the countryside, is done with rats. You don't bludgeon them to death, it's too messy. You don't shoot them, it's too messy, too bloody. The way to kill infestations of rats is to capture them in a cage and to drown them in a river. Italians are like rats or stray dogs and they have to be exterminated. In this cartoon, we have Uncle Sam, who's looking almost indifferent to the invasion of rats coming directly from the slums of Europe. They are the carriers of social viruses, of social diseases. They are the carriers of mafia, anarchy, socialism. They are the carriers of violence weapons between their teeth. There is a bandana in the colors of the Italian flag, just to make sure that everybody knows where they're coming from. In the upper uh, left corner, you can see President McKinley. He was a supporter of open immigration. And paradoxically, he was killed by a Polish immigrant. I believe he was shot in upstate New York 
and died a few days later out of uh, either infection or complications from the wounds. In the far background, uh, the Statue of Liberty, the Pied Piper leads rats directly out of the sewers of Europe toward the American shore. In the background, also, European nobility, aristocrats, militaries who are rejoicing at the idea of getting rid of all the scum that is going to America. And this is not just generic scum, it's Italian scum. Look at the black hand leaflet in the mouths of the rats. And here is probably what I consider the most significant because in semiotic terms, it is a very complex message made out of uh, an enormous amount of signs and symbols all assembled together. The title is Original WAP, and I will read the Italian caption underneath, which says, Mezza chile spaghetti e un fazzoletto al collo. Lo stiletto e calzone a fustagna. Metti l'aglio che inghiotta boccare bestiale e un talento a lustrare stivali which means half a kilo of spaghetti and an handkerchief around the neck. The stiletto and the pants in this typical kind of fabric. Put garlic that he swallows in animal-like mouthfuls and a talent for shining boots. Now, the least obvious but most conspicuous symbol signal is the position of the white dandy, the trust fund child, and that of the Italian. Look at the different position. Now, the Italian. This is not a human. It is a subhuman. It is an ape, a monkey which is a typical representation of inferior species when they came to America. It's not limited only to African Americans, as we know, but it was applied to Jews, it was applied to Irish, it was applied to anybody you can possibly imagine. So this knuckle-dragging brute is your basic Italian. I will come back to this image when I will talk about uh, Cesare Lombroso and the scientific racial theories that were dominating at the end of uh, the 19th century. But for the time being, I'm going to leave it at this.